The Supreme Buddha had a remarkable technique of teaching according to the caliber and mentality of the being who was being taught. He was able to instruct everyone appropriately in this way about following the correct path. He showed humans in that we can also reach the heavenly realms by following the noble eightfold path and having an unshakable faith in the buddha dhamma and the sangha dinapata navutama dharma deshana shravane kirimata vassana dharma deshana apage youtube nalikavu denma subscribe karanna bell icon eya click karanna Today's Dhamma ceremony is conducted by Savanagala Nandaratana Thero and contribution of this great Dhamma ceremony is Mrs. Tulangani Monaravela who lives in the United Kingdom. Samantha Chakvale Su Atantra Gachantu Devata सद्धमुनीराजस सुन तो सघ मुखद धम्म सवन कालो अय बदंता धम्म सवन खालो अय बदंता धम्म सवन खालो अय बदंता मेरिटोरियस डिवेटीज एंड मेरिटोरियस चिल्ड्रन Now you are going to listen some sublime dhamma which has been taught by our Supreme Buddha. So, as usual, this Vassana Dhamma Desana YouTube channel provides us a good service of distributing the dhamma all around the globe. Honestly, our Buddha has told us that sharing dhamma is the best and foremost given among all the other givings in the world therefore miss uh, chulangani monaravela invited me and got the contribution of this great dhamma sermon on the purpose of blessing for her granddaughter anjika on her 17th birthday miss chulangani monaravela hopes to bless her to do well in her studies and also she hopes to bless for her daughters harshini vilakshana and son in law telina granddaughter duresha her brother chandra monaravela and sujeeva and also she would love to give this merit to her husband Raja Amarasekar da Silva who passed away 12 years ago and her parents Milton and Sujata Monaravela Nandavati who passed away 2 years ago and all the other deceased and departed friends and relatives not only that she is willing to bless me and Mr Gayan Dushant coordinator of this channel blessing for a speedy recovery to all patients in the world suffering from covid-19 meritorious devotees in order to understand the dhamma the teachings of the supreme buddha we have to understand who the buddha was for this We have to appreciate his nine great qualities. This is the process of developing an unshakable faith in the Buddha. Okay, 
I'll tell you another example why we should learn and know and keep remember them thoroughly in our mind. Now we just imagine someone comes to your home as a stranger but you know nothing about him until someone introduces him to you. So when grandfather or grandmother tells you my dear son or daughter the person who came to our house just a few hours ago is marvelous and magnificent dear child why i'm telling that magnificent and marvelous he is because he has successfully completed 10 degrees and 10 high diplomas not only that he is good at speaking 10 languages fluently meritorious devotees at the very first time when the kid sees him he had no nothing about him he had no any clues on him and also he did not respect him that much why did he do so because he had no idea who he was and how fluent he was and what about when he got to know everything about him later on how did he feel about him he was amazed and he couldn't believe his ears and he was at the top of the world he arrived he respected him so much why did he do so because eventually he got to know all the positive detail about him that's why meritorious devotees first and foremost we have to know we must know who the buddha was and what are the qualities of him why 500 million people follow his dhamma all around the world the first quality okay without uh, too much talk we will move on to the topic okay the first quality of our buddha is arahant you know everybody knows this pali stanza pali words everybody knows but the problem is here we have no any idea about the meaning of this words okay let's learn the first quality of the buddha is arahant which used to describe a person who has rid himself of all impurities of the mind such as ill will anger jealousy sadness desire lust delusion greed and other defilements of the mind meritorious devotees when it comes to us we feel jealous when our colleagues are about to achieve a promotion and when they are getting success in the same field children feel jealous about their friends when the friends are getting more results rather than them but buddha had no any feelings like this because he had already uprooted and removed all impurities in his mind sometimes we do bad things in secretly sometimes we tell lies as jokes sometimes we do slightly wrong things meritorious devotees but our supreme buddha did not do any bad things jokes even in a secret way and also he did not do slightly wrong things have a look 
when the things are not going well in a way that we wish and we hope then how do you feel it is obvious we feel angry and sad even devastated have a look at you what we are doing since the day we knew a little bit about the society so what we have been doing is taking 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 things like pen pencil tablets vehicles properties clothes jewelries and so on why we are crazy about having things without giving without giving things for someone else usage because we have desire and lust in our mind so don't get it misunderstand right using tablets and luxurious vehicles it's okay but the point is here you can't attach to them you need to be skillful giving up meritorious devotees our supreme buddha gave up his wealth and even gave his beloved children and wife when the time he was fulfilling perfections another meaning of arahant is he does not have any attachment to the six faculties that form all that a human being experiences the eye the ear the nose the tongue the body and the mind when we look at a beautiful girl or a beautiful boy when we look at a beautiful house or a building when we look at a beautiful vehicle or else when we look at a lot of money if we keep them in detail in our subconscious mind because of the delusion because of delusion the second quality of our buddha of our teacher is samma sambuddho which describes how the supreme buddha understood the four noble truths without anyone to teach or guide him here you have to clearly get the idea it's obvious he learned things from teachers as an example arala kalam and uddakarama putta but from them he could not find the truths which was uh, he was absolutely looking for which is four noble truths this is the point this is the point he understood the four noble truths without guidance of a teacher our lord buddha understood the four noble truths in great detail when contemplating the four sights he had seen as prince siddhartha gotama old man the sick man the dead body funeral house and the holy man we may see sights like these on daily basis whether on tv or in front of us but we would not stop to think that all age sickness and death are guaranteed to happen all of us in one form or another these inevitabilities of life create immense suffering to us because we have not realized the four noble truths the supreme buddha gained knowledge of this by himself vidya charana sampanno the third quality is vidya charana sampanno which means clear knowledge exemplary conduct 
and compassion iddhi vidnyana we call it power of levitation a buddha can walk on water and he can dive in the earth and emerge any other places meritorious devotees sometimes you may not believe but buddha had those powers next one is parachitta vijanana jnana you may familiar with the pali words and expressions parachitta vijanana jnana parachitta vijanana jnana he could read others mind what they are thinking and so on. the next one is pubbe nivasanusati jnana he could recall his previous births and trace back through his previous existences he was then able to extend this vision this vision to trace back through the previous births of all other beings with this knowledge our great teacher became aware that the journey through sansara was long chutupapata jnana the second quality the second knowledge was the ability to see the passing away and reappearing of beings and the process in which this happens therefore the ongoing circle of death and rebirth asavakkhaya jnana the third knowledge was that of destroying all defilements and attachments and therefore a liberation from sansara so means correct path gata means followed therefore the fourth quality describes how the supreme buddha followed the correct path the noble eightfold path by going through this by going through this path he achieved the bliss of nibbana the ultimate cessation from suffering he described the path in great detail so that everyone could follow it this is another quality unique to him loka vidu the fifth quality loka vidu means knower of the worlds supreme buddha was the first to make observation that there were countless world system he also proclaimed that one should weave the world within one's self rather than seeking to find the origin and the end of the perceived world or universe our great teacher understood the origin cessation and the way to escape from all worlds no other teacher has this knowledge anuttaro purisa dhamma sarati the sixth quality is anuttaro which means unsurpassed or oh, there is no one else purisa dhamma sarati means individuals to be tamed by the gift of the dhamma from our leader in the time of the buddha there are examples of terrifying beings such as angulimala ferocious elephant nalagiri and demon alavaka and these individuals were tamed by our supreme buddha's countless compassion and the magnificent wisdom satta deva manussanang meritorious devotees this is the quality most of us don't know properly satta deva manussanang which means the teacher of 
deities and humans some people think that there is a higher than the buddha and thinking thus respect and worship them meritorious devotees worshiping and respecting to gods is okay but you have to have a knowledge that our supreme buddha is the teacher of deities and humans even in mangala sutta the discourse on blessings buddha preached this sutta for deities when they are inquiring that uh, inquiring what are the great blessings it is important that we have to understand that our great teacher not only communicated with and taught human beings but he also taught beings existing in the realm of deities the heavenly realm therefore the dhamma also exist in the heavenly worlds the supreme buddha had a remarkable technique of teaching according to the caliber and mentality of the being who was being taught he was able to instruct everyone appropriately in this way about following the correct path he showed humans in that we can also reach the heavenly realms by following the noble eightfold path and having an unshakable faith in the buddha dhamma and the sangha the eight quality of our buddha is buddho which means one who has understood the four noble truths without anyone's help and is able to proclaim the dhamma to others we know when we are learning history of india there were some traditions and teachers who did not reveal everything that they knew and that they learned or else experienced but buddha did not hide any dhamma portions he revealed everything that he knew experienced through his life this is also a great quality of the buddha the ninth quality bhagava means the blessed one he was the most fortunate and liberated being to have conquered all evils and taught the dhamma and to have been endowed with superhuman intellectual abilities he is the one and only teacher to have held all these nine great qualities we can see the evidence of these qualities in the dhamma and develop our unshakable faith in the buddha okay i think you may understand these nine qualities of the buddha so i always tell tell our dhamma school children uh, we have to keep a strong base and knowing these you know fundamental qualities of the buddha who buddha is so this is the things what we uh must do at very first time when we you know getting know some details of the buddha so we have to understand who our teacher is so that's why i preach this uh dhamma desana by using this uh, topic so may all the gods accept this merits which we accumulated by listening to a great dhamma servant 
may they protect us diligently may they protect us diligently and may they attain nibbana by the grace of this merit in our gautama buddha's dispensation may you have blessing of the gods who rejoice in this merits and may you have blessing of the triple gem so having all these merits and blessing may all of you be be well and happy especially miss chulangani monarevel purpose was to bless her granddaughter anjika for her 17th birthday so we also uh, would like to bless her to have a happy birthday and by the grace of this merit may these merit help her to do well in her studies and mental happiness well as i mentioned earlier miss chulangani monarevela Uh, hopes to bless her daughters harshini and vilakshana and son-in-law telina granddaughter duresha and her brother chandra monaravela and uh, sujeeva mr gayan dushant coordinator of this channel and uh, me as well who is conducting the dhamma sermon so including these meritorious devotees may all of you be well and happy and also if anyone's life is been affected by some bad karmas the things that we have done in the past may all these may all those disappear may all of you be well and happy all of you have long life may all of you attain nibbana by the grace of this merits in our gautama buddha's dispensation may departed relatives rejoice this merits miss chulangani's husband raja amarasekara the silva who passed away 12 years ago and her parents Milton and Sujata Monarevel and Nandavati who passed away 2 years ago and also all the all the other departed friends and relatives may all of them rejoice this merit and may they be well and happy may they be free from suffer may they also realize nibbana by the grace of this merits in the gautama buddha's dispensation sadhu 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 abhivadan silis nichang vadha pachainu chattaro dhamma vaddanti ayuvannu sukham balam ayurarogya sampatti sagg sampatti me च अतो निभान संपन्ति इमिनाते समिज्जतु मे द ट्रिपल जेम ब्लेस यू टुडेस दम सेरेमनी इज कंडक्टेड बाय सवन गल नंद रतन तेरो एंड कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दिस ग्रेट दम सेरेमनी इज मिसेस चोलांगनी मोनरवेल हु लिव्स इन द यूनाइटेड किंगडम 
If you would love to have contribution of a Dhamma ceremony through this Vassana Dharma Deshana YouTube channel, would you please call us 9718575713, 9718575713. दिनपता नवतम धर्म दिशा श्रवण किरी मठ वसान धर्म दिशा अपगे यूट्यूब नालिका वो दैन सब्सक्राइब कराना बेलाइकन क्लिक कराना